Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another week of family meal ideas for you. So I'm gonna take you through what we eat as a family of five over the course of around a week for our main evening meals. First off, I'd like to apologize again for the dog snoring. She's just really loud, bless her little heart. So before we get started, I would like to thank Muscle Food for sponsoring a section of this week's video. If you don't know what Muscle Food is, it is an online company that specializes in high protein, healthy foods to help you along your healthy living journey. They do all sorts from lean meats, fish, they do tailored meal plans. So if you wanted to lose weight, you can just go onto their website and they will create a tailor-made package for you. They even do meal kits where you get all the ingredients you need to create a specific meal. They do things like rice and cheese, tuna, cereal bars, you name it you can literally do your weekly shop on muscle food so instead of showing you all the products I thought I'd actually make some food so you can see how the things look when they're cooked I've made sure that I film the packaging as well so you know exactly what it is I'm using I've also linked all those products in the description box and muscle food have actually given me a five pound off code to share with you guys which is just Victoria 5 and that will give you five pound off your first 60 pound spend after this video make sure to go and have a look in the description box follow the links and just have a look around the site I guarantee you'll find something you like the look of but without further ado let's go and have a look at what I made this week so I am just about to start tonight's dinner and we are having some of these gorgeous looking heritage rump steaks from muscle food and also some muscle food chicken breast so what I've done is just chopped up the chicken breast skewered it and then I've put some seasoning over the top so I've got a little bit of onion powder garlic powder and some smoked paprika and then with the rump steaks I'm just going to serve some beef dripping thick cut chips some onion rings and some peas. And this is the only steak that Steve, my husband, will eat. He won't eat it from anywhere else because he's really, really fussy. He's not a huge fan of steak. And every time I buy steak, he just doesn't like it. Um, it's too chewy or too gristly. And the only place he will eat it from is <laughs> muscle food. So I will show you it as it's cooking and how I cook it. I cook it on my t fowl grill, which basically does it for you. You just set steak, set how you want it cooked, and then just close it. It works out how thick it is, which is really cool. So I am going to let these breathe for a little while first and then pop them on. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost we stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious seas So here is our steak chicken. I was trying to think what it's called when they do it in restaurants like this. It's not surf and turf, is it? It's turf and cluck. Then we've got Muscle Foods Heritage Rump Steaks and these are a really good value as well. They've always got offers on on them and yeah and very very tender got some peas we've got our muscle food chicken skewer which i've just marinated in a few spices we've got some cajun onion rings and some beef dripping extra chunky chips so that is what we have got for our saturday night indoors but looks like a restaurant kind of meal so for tonight's dinner we've got these scottish salmon fillets from muscle food i've cooked the boys ones me and steve are going to have ours with roasted veg a little bit later i've done some of my slow cooker macaroni cheese some tender stem broccoli. Jake's got some peri peri rice because he's not keen on macaroni cheese. But these bits of salmon are absolutely huge. They're like bigger than my hand. Um, good job the boys love salmon. So that is what we've got for dinner tonight. And I'll show you mine and Steve's once I've plated it up a little bit later. So here is mine and Steve dished up. We've got butternut squash, roasted red peppers, mushrooms, leeks and courgettes. And then our salmon, which I've just done some onion powder, some chilli flakes and some lemon juice and yeah it's looking really really nice so for tonight's dinner i'm doing a version of hunter's chicken and i'm also serving it with some potato wedges so all i've done is just scrub some potatoes and cut them into chips i've put them on my baking tray i always use one of these pizza ones that has all the holes in it because i just find they go crispier otherwise they tend to stay a little bit soggy and I'm not doing them in the air fryer today because I'm going to put the chicken in the oven as well. So it seems silly to leave a space in the oven and then use the power for the air fryer. So if I'm putting more than one thing in the oven, then I always put the chips in there. If not, I do them in the air fryer. Um, I've just coated these with some spray vegetable oil. 
So I've just coated these with some spray oil, some garlic granules and some salt. They're going to go in for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll probably turn them over halfway through. I do everything mostly on around 200 to 220 degrees. So they're going to go in and then I'm going to start on my chicken because these are probably going to take longer. Right, so I'm just going to start off with my chicken breasts. I've put some chicken seasoning on them and I'm going to put them in the oven. I've got this tray that I've greased with some spray oil. Okay. So I'm just going to put these in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes to start cooking and then I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on top, some bacon and some cheese. So my chicken is about halfway cooked and what I'm going to do now is add some barbecue sauce and some bacon medallions. These are the muscle food bacon medallions and as you can see they are fat removed so that's really good I haven't got to worry about any stringy bits on those so we really really like the muscle food bacon I'm also going to use some grated cheddar and some barbecue sauce that I bought in Marks and Spencer's because I'm not making my own today I usually do but I just don't have time so <laughs> I'm going to use this one this was only a pound a bottle so. so I'm going to add this Oscar isn't actually having barbecue sauce he's just going to have bacon and cheese and then me Steve and the boys are going to have barbecue sauce I've only done the boys for now because Steve isn't home from work yet so I'm going to wait and do ours a little bit later and eat with him so he doesn't have to eat on his own. But for now I'm going to get barbecuing and bacon in and cheesing. Right, so I've wrapped my chicken in bacon. So these are going to go back in for another five minutes or so just to start crisping up the bacon. Um, and I've got it all over me. And then I'm gonna take them out, pop the cheese on, check on the chips, do the sides, and hopefully we're done. Ready to go back in for their final stage of cooking. It's only had five minutes just to start the bacon cooking, and I'm just gonna pop it in for its final browning now. So here is our meal all done. Our cheese has gone nice and crispy and brown and it's just gone really sticky. The barbecue sauce has actually really thickened nicely. It's almost like um it's just gone really tarry, which is really nice got some peas and there are our oven wedges so this is what's for dinner tonight and i cannot wait for steve to get home so we can have ours because it looks so good so steve and i have decided to have ours served with jacket potato we've got some cream cheese some pepper juice peppers and some roasted broccoli and yellow peppers and then we just put some of the sauce from the barbecue back over the top again of the chicken and this is what is for our dinner tonight As you may see we've got pizza for dinner this is the 16 year old so he'll eat the whole thing um so we've got the crispy ridiculously crispy ice and chips cheese stuffed crust hot dog stuffed crust and yeah that's tonight's dinner so the boys have had their hot dog stuffed crust and their fries and i'm just about to put mine and steve's in and we are going to have this four cheese and caramelized red onion taste the difference pizza from sainsbury's um, boys haven't got this because they're not all keen on like the goat's cheese and things and then one of these cathedral city cheesy flatbreads so i'm just going to pop these in and i'll show you them when they are cooked our pizza all dished up we've got our cathedral city one i will let you know how it is I'll show you steve's one because it's got more onion on his um, and our goat's cheese and no four cheese
also for dinner tonight we have got a roast beef dinner so we've got obviously our roast beef we've got some carrots some yorkshire puddings which haven't turned out too badly this time although i'm not as impressed as i was last week <laughs> we've got some roast parsnips some roasted fennel and some roast potatoes and some beef gravy that i've used shallots garlic the beef juices and some corn flour to thicken it up so proper beef gravy and a dog snoring in the background as always <laughs> and this is what we have got for our sunday roast tonight so that is it for this video i really hope you've enjoyed it if you did please make sure to leave me a like go and subscribe i've got lots more meals of the week coming i've got another slow cooker video coming up soon and also my usual hauls and things don't forget to check out all the links in the description box for muscle foods go and follow them on instagram they have some really good recipes over there and use my code VICTORIA5 if you want to get a £5 off discount. And I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys.